Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, we'll show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Shahrir Mamejarov. This is a game from Grand Chess Tour, St. Louis Rapid and Blitz Tournament 2019. And this is actually a Blitz game. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with d4. Shahriar Mamejaro played knight to f6, c4, b6, going for the queen's Indian defense, maybe. Knight to c3, bishop to b7, knight to f3, e6, g3, bishop to b4, the Nimzo Indian defense. Bishop to d2 and pinning, bishop takes on c3, bishop takes on c3, knight to e4. Rook to c1, castling, bishop to g2, d6, all the standard moves. Castling, knight takes on c3, rook takes on c3, knight to d7. This is a popular line seen many times in the past. White to move, d5. This position was for the first time seen in 1988. Play with the black pieces played e5, but lost the game. Since then, players with the black pieces found an improvement for black. However, in this game e5 was not played. Mamejaro played knight to f6. Why to move? Carlsen intends to bring his knight, which is now on f3, to a better square. e3. He played knight to e1. e takes on d5. c takes on d5. Rook to e8. Knight to c2. Queen to d7. Knight to e3. Rook to e7, queen to c2, black to move. If something like, let's play a random move, a6, then knight to f5, attacking the rook, and then rook takes on c7. To prevent knight to f5, Mamejaro played g6. This is preventing knight to f5, but weakening the dark squares. Rook to c1, more pressure on the pawn on c7. Rook to c8. After 18 moves have been played, white is standing better. The game continued. Queen to d3. Knight to g4. Knight takes on g4. Queen takes on g4. e3. Queen to d7. Queen to d4. Dancing on the dark squares. Perhaps next move by white could be b4. h4. Or even e4. Mamejaro was worried about e4, so he played f5, h4, queen to e8, it is white to move, and this is very interesting moment of the game. Few moves earlier, Mamejaro played f5, to prevent e4, but now he was surprised to see e4, e4 is a very nasty move, f takes on e4, white to move. What did Carlsen have in mind when he played e4? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Bishop to h3 was played. This is winning the game. The rook on c8 is under attack. If the rook moves, then rook takes on c7. And after rook takes on c7, rook takes on c7. And white wins with queen to e5. Then bishop to e6 check first, and after king to h8, queen takes on e5, d takes on e5, rook takes on b7. Back to our game. So in this position, in a very difficult position, Mamejaro played a desperate move c5. This would be a good move if it wasn't for Anpasan. Pawn takes pawn Anpasan, rook takes on c6 removing the target. But there is another problem in the black camp. White played a move and black resigned. And the move is queen to d5, check. Mamejaro resigned. One line goes like this. Queen to f7. Queen takes queen, check. King takes queen. Rook takes on c6. Bishop takes on c6. Rook takes on c6. Saving the pawn. Not really. Rook to d6. And even alpha stockfish would have no chance with black pieces against Carlsen. Gary Kasparu commented on the games from the tour and said that top players are making too 
many blunders. And the reason was, they play too much chess nowadays. That's what he said. Do you think that there is too much chess played by top chess players nowadays? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.